Welcome to the Ask Patrick series. So in this series, I try to answer question on management entrance exam or colleges or anything that is relevant, which I can feel that is important. If you're interested, you can subscribe to the channel. So today's question is by Mohamed Yusuf. The question is, how many questions of each topic should I solve in mathematics? So normally when students start practicing mathematics for the CAT exam or anything, they start and they solve a lot of questions. They don't know where to stop. The problem is that if I solve a lot of questions, um, I may exceed a lot of, I may take a lot of time for per topic. If I take a lot of time per topic, my syllabus may not get complete on time. And if my syllabus doesn't get complete on time, I will have less time for mocks, analysis, etc., which is bad. If I solve less questions, I may not be comfortable with the topic. So somewhere go in the middle way. I normally say that don't try to target the number of questions when you're doing the syllabus. Focus on days. So I will say that I will do three days of a particular topic. So in those three days, whatever sums you can solve, try to solve. Mix, match, solve a few sums from one place, also a few sums from second way. How many ever sums you can solve on those three days, solve. Don't try to master a topic. It's very difficult to master because CAT is such that uh, the sums are twisted. No matter how much you study in every topic, there can be a sum which will be confusing and which you may not be able to solve, no matter how much you have practiced. So for now, when you're completing the syllabus, give yourself days, try to solve as many sums as you're comfortable with, right? You can understand the fundamentals. If you feel you're not comfortable, then come back during revision stage, later point. If you want a number for our questions, so I can maybe put minimum 20 questions per topic, maximum go to 40, 50 questions per topic. It depends on how comfortable, or maybe even 70 questions per topic. If you're comfortable with a topic, solve less sums. If you're not comfortable with a topic, solve more questions. Also, if a topic is less complex, you can solve less sums. If a topic is more complex, solve more sums. So number of questions will differ from topic to topic and how you're comfortable with it. Hope that answers the question. Thank you.